I'm just happy every time I get a firing range. I love this map. Don't always get a first kill like that, but when I get him, I get him. Gone round the other way. They flankety flankety. Oh, I literally ran into the spawn too quick. This guy using a shotgun, my god. What's up guys, welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video and today we're going to talk about how to improve your aiming when it comes to sniping. Now there's already amazing tutorials on how to actually snipe on YouTube. I would personally recommend you go to Sprat, Optic Sprat, type in um, Optic Sprat, how to snipe on Black Ops 4. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best sniping tutorial video on YouTube at the moment. Granted, I haven't seen them all, but you'll see what I mean. If you haven't already seen this video and you check it out, it tells you pretty much everything you need to know. So, providing you've watched that, you'll know how to uh, pick a class, how to center your enemies, drag scopes, quick scopes, no scopes, things like that. So my video is basically little tips afterwards for those of you like me who were not just brand new to Call of Duty but brand new to sniping on Call of Duty. Um, so let's say you've seen his video. Next thing you want to do is pick your class setup. So Paladin, obvious choice. It's the most high damage output with the most ability. So when I started, I ran high cal 1-2. Uh, stabilizer one two you want to do that next thing you want to do is set up a custom game with bots preferably on the easiest setting so recruit and you want to do this on nuketown this was an idea actually suggested to me by uh, one of my friends um, and it works great the reason you want to do it on nuketown uh, free for all against bots on nuketown it's a very close space it forces you to think quick on your toes and make all these decisions about who you want to shoot first, who you want to shoot second, what type of shot you want to do um, and it forces your muscle memory to kick in that's what you eventually want to rely on your muscle memory to know what to do with your hand-eye coordination when you come across enemies so start off with high car 1-2, stabilizer 1-2 as soon as you feel comfortable take off stabilizer 1 maybe even take off stabilizer 2 Replace it with sight lead loader for the quicker reloads, then up the difficulty um, against the bots. And as you up the difficulty, uh, you keep your pra uh, you keep your practice up with your muscle memory. And then the hard part is the part nobody really likes to hear is you're gonna have to go into multiplayer. I recommend TDM because it's kind of the easiest mode, and you just have to practice. If you're like me, you're going to get slapped, you're going to get montaged, Don't, you can't care about your KD, you just have to do it uh, and you just have to keep at it until you eventually get used to it because no matter how much you train against veteran bots, it's nothing like playing against real people. So those are quick tips, step by step, what you want to do. Hopefully some of those shots are like quick scopes, hard scopes, drag scopes will be demonstrated in the clips you're watching now. Uh, feel free to watch them over again. Um, and hopefully if you've seen my first video uh, and also my second video you'll notice the improvement um, from each clip so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, give it a try uh, let me know how you got on and I'll see you on the next one